Hi all, Tim Wilshere. It is Father's Day, the 5th of September 2020, and uh, it's been five nights spent in uh, isolation in uh, Christchurch, New Zealand at the airport uh, at the Novotel. So um, what I've been up to in the last five days? Well, actually the first couple few days I was actually did quite a lot of work uh, with CTBS, so still working remotely even with a not so good Wi-Fi connection sometimes. So. Um, it was a very interesting um, experience, but we sort of got there over the first few days and uh, looking forward to another another week of work in a way. But uh, in the meantime, I've been doing, um, watching Ozark season one again. I've uh, been watching the NBA playoffs. Uh, it's been quite uh, exciting to watch all the NBA playoffs. We watched um, North versus South in the rugby union uh, and South actually won last night in New Zealand. So that was very good. Um, Watched, uh, yeah, so it's, it's actually, I'm, I'm quite uh, getting used to it. Um, the meals haven't been too bad. The keto friendly um, selection uh, has, has, has been pretty good. I've had quite a few different proteins, salmon, chicken, steak. Um, there were some lamb shanks. So um, it's, quite, it's quite a good selection of food, um, getting coffees, uh, good beer here too, good um, local brewing beer. Um, so yeah, it's been quite good there. Um, so yeah, 10 to 12 <coughs> here in New Zealand time. Um, I'm going to catch up with an old mate of mine shortly. Um, Andre Moore, I haven't spoken to for a while, so we'll have, have uh, him in on the call, um, and just get his sort of uh, reaction to how, what things are. We'll have a bit of a chat about the playoffs, um, possibly about, uh, BLM, which is Black Lives Matter, obviously, a, um, a proud Chicago. Uh, native uh, Andre uh, obviously has a bit to say about this, and you've got to help, but uh, you can only help but support the cause. Um, it's certainly, you know, and we'll see what he see what he actually actually have to say about the whole thing. That'd be quite interesting. So yeah, it's um, it's been raining here this morning. It's the sun sh coming through now. Um, it's five days in, nine to go. So um, and. Uh, <clears throat> what else has been happening in the world? I think the the um, COVID cases, nothing too new there. Most of the the um, states and New Zealand are um, very low. Victoria still getting about 10 deaths a day, um, 70 to 100 infections, new infections. So they've sort of, you know, certainly been uh, locked down. Uh, what else is news in the world? Um, yes. So yeah, happy Father's Day to all those fathers out there. Um, I look forward to, um, hope you have a really good day. My brother, Christopher, for his first um, Father's Day uh, with young Florence, who only just turned one. So happy birthday to Florence for two days ago. Uh, beautiful, beautiful niece. Um, so yeah, the picture in the background looks beautiful, doesn't it? This is, this is um, what it's like here. The uh, Novotel. Got a good, nice big screen there. I've been able to get work done on the laptop and, a, and another screen. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I've had, you have to, I've had health, I've had a COVID test um, right up the nose a few days ago. Um, makes you sneeze a bit for about a minute, but apart from that, that's that's all all it is. Um, I've been bringing in coffees and and uh, <clears throat> you can obviously shop online at Countdown, which is just like Woolies. Um, so they've been able to bring in some nice stuff as well. So yeah, <clears throat> that's what's been happening. Anyway, coming up soon, it's uh, halftime in the NBA, halftime in Toronto versus Boston. Saw Fred Bland beat hit a buzzer beater to tie the game at the half. That's a very, looks like a very close series, Toronto versus Boston. I'm hoping that Toronto tie the series up and really make it make it a good series if they do. Um, as it, as I sort of suspected, I thought that Houston would give um, the Lakers a little bit of trouble in this series, and it could go all the way to seven. Um, but a good start by Houston, very good defensive, underrated defensive team, um, <clears throat> and uh, when they've got Eric Gordon playing that well, it's, they are very hard to stop. And uh, so the Clippers versus 
Denver game two. Haven't really watched met much of the Clippers in the postseason. I've seen a lot of the other teams, but not the Clippers. So I know Kawhi has been dominating. <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking forward to playing a game of golf, that's for sure. Once I get to Queenstown, that's it's certainly looking forward to that. Um, just getting it set up. Nine more days. Nine more days and we'll be driving down to Queenstown. And uh, and anyway, welcome back. It's uh, here is Andre Moore to stay hello to. He's coming out. Hey, Andre, can you hear me? <laughs> I'm going well, man. Going well. I'm in a in, in a uh, hotel room here in Christchurch, New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. I'm in my uh, makeshift makeshift um, uh, office slash garage. <laughs> <laughs> in your <laughs> garage, <laughs> garage. <laughs> your younger self as a cutout in the background. Yeah, yeah. That's me, man. Man, what have you been up to? What's been happening? Have you been watching the playoffs? Oh yeah, most definitely, man. It's been 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 um been a um, very enjoyable playoffs to watch. Very enjoyable. So it's been very interesting. I mean, Miami's dominance over Milwaukee has that surprised you at all? Not really, because uh, you know any team with uh, guys like um, Jimmy Butler, um, Bam Ad Adebayo, mm. those type of guys, tough guys, man. You know, I knew the guys had the grit, and then the, and then the the, the history. In the, in the um, you know, the, the history of uh, the Miami Heat with uh, with Pat Riley, you know, uh, at the helm as the uh, you know overlord looking at, looking at, looking over everything, and then um, a very capable uh, coach in um, Spolstra. Uh, so I'm not surprised. They, they have a very classy organization, and um, they they play hard. They get a lot of grit, you know, grinding to their to their DNA, you know, their, their team DNA. So yeah. um, and then, yeah. you know, he's been the coach. He's been the coach for nearly a decade, hasn't he, Eric? Yeah, yeah. He started off. In, he started off as a as a as a uh, video guy, as a youngster, you know, and um, moved his moved his way up the, up the uh, up the ranks, and is you know become a great great. Um, I think he's one of I think he's the third or fourth all time has the third or fourth all time uh, best um, winning winning um, percentage for coaches. You know, for coaches uh, all time. You know. That's really it. It's good. And uh, he's got a good... They Actually, they play well as a team as well. So that's... They seem to have drilled. And, they, and they've got some really good shooters. I think they're giving uh, guys like Duncan Robinson and oh, Tyler Hero. Oh, the Dragon's been unleashed as well, too. And Dra Dragon's back, too. Yeah, he's back, man. He's... And he, and he got uh, my, my guy from Chicago, my little, my little, my little guard, uh, uh, Nunn. Nunn, who's none. the third... Third, uh, third, third vocal, vocal getter in the, um, in the uh, Rookie of the Year this year. Yeah, he's he was a rookie, so um, and uh, he he wasn't really drafted, so he was um, he was someone you could steal in in the fantasy leagues. That's for sure. He was really good. Right, right. He went to Simeon High School in Chicago, which was one of our my school, Carver High School. That was our our big rivalry in our in our division high school. Um, they 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 produced a lot of uh, pros <laughs> such as uh, Nick Anderson, mm. Orlando um, Magic played with played with Shaq and. Um, of course, uh, D Rose. You know, all those guys wore number twenty-five because they had a guy by the name of, um, of uh, um, what's his name, Ben Ben Wilson, who who was tragically killed years ago back in high school, who was who was projected to be one of the greatest players ever in basketball. And um, they they also to honor his his number, his name, his name, they uh, they wear his number twenty-five. All the guys who make it big in the pros from that yeah. school. So yeah, so uh, yeah, kid, he, none comes from great great. Uh, Basketball pedigree. Sounds like it, man. Sounds like yeah, it. So, yeah. and what? And, and on the other flip, on the other side of the flip coin, there, what, what's been Milwaukee's problem? Do you think they've been getting, you know, if you had a look at the game yes, um, yesterday, they were doing really, really well, and all of a sudden the fourth quarter they disappeared, and uh, so they looked like yeah. they were themselves there for three quarters of the of the game, and they just seemed to sort of, I don't know, from what I saw, they just seemed to couldn't. They were just, you know, making uh, shelters with bricks, basically. Well, I tell you, pressure pressure does two things. It can um, it can um, burst pipes, 
and also can make diamonds, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they have to be, uh, you know, playing like burst pipes at, you know, at, that, at that sort of stage, you know. So uh, the pressure got to him, you know. Uh, Giannis is, uh, I think he's getting increasingly frustrated. But he should be frustrated not only with uh, his teammates and what, what's going on around him, but with himself, you know. His game is, uh, is, is, sim- is very similar to when I used to play, being a big guy. You kind of at the mercy of uh, you know with the people that are around you. You know, you can only do so much. You know, he's 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 the, I think he, I think he's gonna be really really considering um, maybe uh, moving on to another team. Mm, uh, interesting. You reckon Golden able, State? Yeah, yeah. They're not able to uh, to uh, make a comeback, which is gonna be very hard being down three zero. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it's, it doesn't get done really ever, does it? If you're down three zero, you never no, know. But yeah, the history of that is uh, I think the last time it was, it was done wasn't uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers with uh with with LeBron and they did it. Um, they were down three. They were down three one and one three. three, three yeah, uh, beat Golden State with uh, all that sort of going on there. But that was uh, yeah. But also, I'm fascinated by the other series in the East. Um, Toronto and Boston look very close, man. Every game looks just so close. Yes. Uh, I, I was just watching the game before we came on air, and uh, it's it's dead level at halftime. I saw um, our boy uh, Van Vliet hit a three to to tie it at halftime. Yeah, so I got so, I got the game as we speak. The game is being recorded, so don't get yeah. me. Too <laughs> I'll be yeah. watching the game later. But yeah, right. it's a very fascinating game. It's uh, though both teams seem to be playing really really well. I'm a little bit worried about Siakam's consistency, but apart from yeah. that, um, I think. Um, yeah, I think Boston, uh, especially, you know, they've got Smart playing well. Yep. yep, uh, yep. Tatum and, Tatum. and uh, Brown. Tatum and Brown is just great, yeah. And I think Kemba's doing a really good job running the show. He's, I mean, he's, I think... he's fun to watch. He's, he's, he's a fun dude to watch, man. He, uh, he's, he's, like, he's, like, he's like he's skating out there on the court, man. <laughs> yeah, whereas Toronto's backcourt, Van Vliet and Lowry are playing as well as they can play, man. Those two guys are, are playing with their hearts out. Well, yeah, um, you, haven't mentioned, you haven't mentioned the main guy from Toronto that needs to be mentioned. He was a little quiet guy last year when they were making their playoff run. He was hurt. He stood on the bench as a you know as a civilian, but um, always just very always in a piss of mood. This guy, OG. Ad, uh, uh, what about I, that? I, I, what's his surname? Uh, I, but, uh, Anubi. Anubi. <laughs> Anubi. OG. Yeah, he's the man. He's the. Uh, he hit that game the winner in the. Yeah. Out. I mean, what, what about that pass? Half a second to go. That Lowry skip pass across over the top oh, of Lowry. Taco Fall, and ha- he, just, he had to nail this guy for a touchdown pass. Otherwise, there's no time left on the clock. And, and, he, um, and he had Taco Falls. Uh, they, you know, that was yeah. very smart. Uh, the, the Celtics to put Taco Fall <laughs> in that pass, seven foot twenty, whatever he is, <laughs> cracked him, and he still yeah. made a great pass to uh, to OG. OG made a great catch. This, yeah. <laughs> to be behind the three-point line and made a shot with 0.5 seconds on the clock. 0.5 mm. a second. Yeah. That's amazing, man. And that's the East. And the, what about the West? Uh, I, I actually sort of predicted that Houston would give the Lakers a bit of problems in this series, yeah, I think. Yeah, it's very intriguing. That, um, and they have been, they beat them three three out of the, the bit, four out of the last five times Houston have beat the LA. So, right. um, so that's, they're, they're one of the a bogey team, in, if you if you want to say. Um, yeah. So they they have to come over a bit of a, have to come over a bit of adversity to win this series, the Lakers. Right, um, right. Um, te- te- um, technically, they're gonna have to come up with some. The coaching staff are gonna come up have to come up with some with uh, to uh, offset the, the the two contrasting styles, which is yeah. Houston with all you know, b- virtually all guards. Yeah. And, 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 and um, Lakers having so much length, but the 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 the, the, the uh, Small ball is working right. And, you know, game one, it worked really well. It worked, it worked well. It worked great, especially in the fourth quarter. It worked really, really well. Um, you did, LeBron sort of didn't really uh, have much to say in the fourth quarter. He was not not in the no, game at all. No points that court, that court, yeah. So, uh, and I, yeah, so they're sort of relying a lot on AD um, yeah, as well. Yeah. Uh, so the other guys have got to step up. And it's just a matter of who's going to step up and... Um, and, right. and and be those uh, I just uh, I just no one there who's a consistent a consistent um, three point threat. Right. A um, third, maybe a third, a third threat. Um, everybody thought Kuzma would be that guy, but um, yeah, it's they're just not. Yeah, whatever they're doing, they need to. If they're going to get the best out of Kuzma, 
they certainly got to get him more involved as well. And uh, they just didn't do that, obviously, in game one. And Weber, it's, it's a tough matchup for Kuzma against these guys. That's for sure. Well, I was going to say, the main thing is uh, defensively, Lakers, uh, how, how do you stop uh, James Harden? James Harden has been um, – uh, they, they, they've considered him to be, and I, I agree, probably the greatest one-on-one player, you know, ever to, to grace the NBA court. I mean, even with, you know, with, with all due respect to the great MJ and great Kobe, this guy is a problem. When he's on his game, he is tough to stop. How do you stop a guy like that, you know? I don't know how you can, man, but um, yeah, I mean, and then they've got we- they've, and then they've got Westbrook there. I think Westbrook had a great second half and he, he's, he, he, he could be rattled. He, he's a bit um, what I would call um, yeah, sort of um, erratic at times. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll throw the ball away and all types of so that he's not a problem. But Harden, this is an offensive juggernaut. How do you stop that? Is I don't know. You know, dude, he only one to stop Harden is Harden himself. He's only one to stop himself. Like he was off that last game, but then he then he came through with the big, the big the big block. You know, at the end of the game on uh, who was that? He, he, he shot his block. Oh, the guy Dort Dort who made a name for himself. Yeah, He's Dort. Part of the people that I was I've, I've been listening. In my bubble thoughts here, I have a, I have a list of bubble thoughts here. <laughs> <laughs> where, did the, where did this where did this Dort guy come from? I mean, he had that thirty point game or something, and he he basically just yeah. been there been there like the the, the defensive stopper. But um, yeah, just, just great great recruiting by the by the, uh, the mm. staff. Uh, they found this guy. He's, he's a rugged player, mm. you know, built built for the um, built like a footballer, and he you know moves really well. And he, uh, he was the perfect guy to try to stop, uh, you know, to slow down Harden, which he was able to do a bit, you know, which was really good. Then he, then he, then he found his offensive game. He scored like 30 points in that, in that close-up game. Yeah. Uh, game seven, he had 30 points until Harden got him at the end, the very end. They actually played play against each other because they went to the same university, Arizona State. Oh, really? Okay, yep. yeah. Yeah, both went to the – him and Harden went to the same, same school. So they, they actually played with each other during offseason. And so they know each other very, very well. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy for guys like Dort, who, 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 made, who, were, who came a breakout, had a breakout year in the bubble. Um, of course, T.J. Warren from Indiana earlier, early on. You know, he became a star. Then we, you know, then we had Mitchell, Mitchell, Donovan Mitchell from Utah was already a, a buddy star. But, yeah, but he's... Jamal Murray, another one, Jamal Murray from the, for the uh, Denver Nuggets. I hope he can sort of have uh, some good games in this Clipper series. That's what I'd like to, to see Jamal Murray today just go off, you know. That, that'd be amazing. That's, yeah, uh, that's, yeah. The game on the well, Saturday. This game, I, think this, I think this series would be more focused on Joker, uh, Joker the Joker who I really love. He's a, he's, he's, he's a very, very talented big man, um, uh, Jok, uh, Jokic uh, for, for the Nuggets. I think it's going to be more of a focused emphasis on him. You know, this this probably be the series that he, he, he makes, you know, puts his stamp on. I like it how he sort of—he sort of looks like he's in better shape too. Uh, yeah, yeah, he looks, he looks very slim. Slim down. Looks, he's slimmed down. He's you know he's been uh, certainly uh, yeah. Uh, he looks great actually. So I, I just hope the Denver can make a series of it, but it's it's hard to know. It's hard to know with the Clippers. The, they are um, very deep and um, yeah, and what just, and if Kawhi is going to average thirty points a game and you've got a deep team, how are you going to beat these guys? Ooh, man, Kawhi Leonard, man, what a what I, a I, I think the Clippers would have to probably, if you're having a look at the betting odds at the moment, they'd probably be the favourites to win the whole lot. Um, I would say. Yeah, yeah, they, uh, very, but they have, they have to get through this series first, though. You know, this, this, yeah, they will. Yeah. Anything can happen, man. These playoffs, but anything yeah. we've seen that already. <laughs> yeah, can exactly. <laughs> exactly, man. So uh, it's Father's Day today in Australia, yeah. and um, happy Happy Father's Day again. But uh, what do you, what do you get up to on Father's Day uh, in your household? Did, did, what did the kids do? They actually do anything nice for you at all, Andre? I think, I think they got um, a daughter who's just she's just, she's just getting ready for work right now. She she, she she's uh, she's she's mentioned something about. Is she, is, she, is she the one that works at the drive through Is that her? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Camilla. Yeah, yeah. My beautiful daughter, Camilla. She's, uh, she's a bit, year 12 student. She's working you know, hard. Just bought it. Just, just, she, just, just, she was just able to buy a new car, her uh, first car ever. 17 years old. A little Nissan Pulsar. Going I really love well. those little, good little cars. Yeah, good little car. We, 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 were, uh, we purchased it from a, a very uh, grandfatherly old guy from this, you know, from this, uh, this this car lot not far from us. Very, very uh, honest, fair man. He actually let us take the car from his lot 
to our own mechanics to have them have a look at under the hood. That's good. Or yeah. The hood, you know, the bonnet over here. We said the bonnet. <laughs> and Same uh, thing. That, mm -hmm. like, that was a great sign when you, when you get a, a car a car dealer uh, let you take the car to go look at look let your people look at it you know so it was it was really a really uh, pleasant pleasant uh, experience going through all that with her you know it was also a rite of passage too I talked about it being a rite of passage because you know Daddy's always used to taking her everywhere and taking her to school and all that now she's uh, she's a big girl you know jumping in an old car you know. And, and, and uh, you know, but she's she's growing up, and that's that's the beauty of it. You know, they, they because she's, they, it's you, you let the birds fly. You know, let them fly. Mm, you know. Mm. Yeah. So the, we haven't sort of uh, haven't had a chance to talk too much over the last six months with COVID. It's been pretty. It's been a crazy time, mate. Tell us how you've sort of how have you sort of coped? How have you coped with the last six months? I've uh, just been treading, you know, treading very carefully out here. You know, make sure we, you know, we we're pretty home pretty much homebody, so we don't get out and about as much, you know, go to the shops from time to time or do a couple of little things, but just sort of staying away from um, big big crowds and big gatherings and whatnot, you know, and just being careful, make sure we wash our hands all the time, you know, uh, stand, you know, watching what's going on, you know, in the news. Well, not too much, because the news can, they can, the media can kind of over, over exaggerate things too, you know. It definitely create, can create, create a bit of a panic, you know, a panic that you know just probably, um, you know, um, just got to be careful out there. But you know, just be be careful. And that's mm. what we're doing. And I just everybody just trying to stay. I like I like the whole thing. Of, you know, the, the thing that's come out of COVID is everyone's being more vigilant about their about their sanitation and all that. You know, mm. so I've been. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I've been to a few places, public places. And I was just, um, I was, I was shocked to see how many people would go into a public bathroom and not wash their hands on the way out. Oh, oh, disgusting. That's disgusting. You know, this is like yeah. all ages, men, everybody. You know, so hopefully this is, this is a wake up call about cleanliness. You know, mm. say cleanliness is next to godliness. You know. Yeah. So, um, but uh, I, my, my heart goes out to everyone who's lost. A loved one, you know, due to due to this pandemic, and um, hopefully there's a, there's a you know a, 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 a what do you call it, vaccine on the horizon that, that, that mm. will help, um, with this with this whole you know what have you heard heard anything about um, any any breakthroughs on vaccines? No, you, you hear about it from time to time, but then you hear that it's a long way off, and you you're just getting mixed messages <laughs> with vaccines, but. Um, so you can't really rely on anything until it's actually in place. I'm not going to rely on a, on a vaccine um, or, you know, I don't think people should yeah. rely on a vaccine. You know, you just got to keep, I think we just got to learn to live with the virus at the, at, for the time being. I really do. I think it's, yeah, yeah. it's definitely altered uh, our way we and, live, yeah. and obviously in, in Australia, we've, we've kept the borders closed pretty much. Um, yes. Yes. Our premier, yeah, Anastasia, I give her a lot of credit for, um, Standing, standing pat, you know, standing her ground as far as, excuse me, border closures. You know, she's um, she's taking a little bit of flack for that. You know, from other, obviously, from other other territories, but um, she's, I think, she's done a great job uh, as mm. far as and Sc and Scomo as well too. You know, Scott Morrison, our, yep. our, our prime minister, he's, uh, he's, yep. I think he's he's handled this this thing pretty mm. good as well too. You know? and, what, and what have you heard back home of the, how how they sort of how's Chicago sort of how's that been in Chicago, mate? Ooh, man, Chicago, man, it's been rough, man. Because it's, it's not only this pandi pandemic stuff is going on. Yeah. Obviously, mm. you know, the big thing in the news has been the Black Lives Matter, police brutality, you know, road cops, uh, all that type of stuff has been heavily, you know, been been um, going on in the news as well. And we, we recently had a <clears throat> an incident that occurred, and uh, you might have heard about it in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Yes. Which is yep. about, a, about a half hour, 40, 45 minutes away from Chicago. Not very far away. Pretty close. Yeah, a, um, a, a black man was uh, shot seven times. You know, just paralyzed. Late, well, he was in his car. You know, All, you know, it was the worst. You know, it was very bad what happened. Um, I mean, he was going into his car. Why? Why he had been told by the police to please? You know, to, to not please. I don't know if he said please, but he was going. He stopped. He kept going into his car. He didn't comply. Yep. A lot of people are complying as well too to what uh, what's being said by the authorities as well. You need to just some, in some case you need to in all, every case you need to just just 
do what they say, basically, you know, at that moment. Yep. Yep. You know? But at, at the same time, that was way, way overkill. Definitely. You know, yeah. Literally infinite figuratively to uh to shoot this man that many mm. times. Mm. So it was, just, it was terrible, terrible sort of event. Um, one one quote that I think um, is is very important quote, and you probably agree with this. Um, what yeah. Kawhi Leonard said was that um, you know all lives don't matter until Black Lives Matter. Yeah, yeah, all lives don't matter to Black. Yeah, okay, well, yeah, we need, yeah, we, it's already implied that all lives do matter. Yep. You know, yeah, so yeah, every every life matters. Every life matters. You know, but yep. uh, right, yeah, he's. We need Black lives to matter. For, that, for for everything to, to matter, black lives have got to matter. So, I think that's that's a good, really good statement, and it sums up to me that you know how important this is, and how important um, the whole you know. And obviously, unless you are in that in those shoes, you don't understand. You know, you're not going to understand what what yeah. you got. You know what what uh, some some of those guys go through. You know, um, with, thing, with racism thing. and all that sort of stuff. Right. It's, it's not only just racism between races from other other races we have to worry about. We have a lot of black on black crime that happens as well, yeah. too. Yeah, okay. You know, you know black, black guys in the neighborhood and women selling drugs mm. to our own kind, you know, to our own people, you know, bringing our neighborhoods down. Black guys killing each other over silly stuff. Black yeah. people killing each other over silly stuff, too. So that's, we can't drugs, yeah. think about that as well, too. It's, black, it's, it's just human beings. I should, should just say it's human beings. But yeah. We have white people killing white people. We have... Asians killing Asians, and you know everybody just needs to needs to um, we need to come together, you know, you know, come mm. together and, and just you know um, have some. I think another big issue is uh, undiagnosed. Uh, there's a lot of un undiagnosed um, um, mental mental disorder out here as well too. A lot of people out here that, that are walking around worldwide mentally unstable who've been you know sort of not diagnosed and they're just you know they're left to their own devices and you know those people you know you can just think about the movie the movie uh that comes to mind when i think about it is that is uh the joker with, with joaquin phoenix his character I saw that. yeah it was a great uh psychological thriller you know it was a real indictment on psychosis and how how it could how it could mess with people and, and, and alter your mind state and, and, and you, if you go out in the public with that you know it's not being uh, you know, dealt with or whatever, you know, you know, have any sort of support system, that's that's a recipe for disaster. So that's another big issue, I think, that uh, needs to be addressed worldwide. Yeah. Yeah. Disorder, you know. A lot of good messages in that movie. I think it's one of the best movies in recent years. I, I, great, I think... great movie, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Joaquin, I always, always, always uh, admire him as an actor. He's a, he's a really, he's a, does a positive. Does a great job in that movie, man. And his, 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 his brother was a, River. Obviously, was a great actor as well too. River, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he was yeah. He was that was a great loss. Uh, when we, when we lost River. It's a long, I think it was about uh, twenty five years ago now or something. It was a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, yes, oh, oh, way back. Yeah, yeah. It's um, so, um, but you know he's he's certainly a t very talented actor and uh, and uh, yeah so. Um, yeah, what else? So, what what else has been happening for you, mate? Uh, obviously, been keep, keeping uh, a profile just there, and um, yeah, and here, yeah. and here I am in New Zealand, mate. <laughs> so. I know. I've been I've been more more involved with the Brisbane Bullets, a team that brought me here, you know, thirty years ah, ago. So, so tell us what you you had some some recent stuff going on with the Bullets. Yeah, yeah. They they now play uh, their games, their home games, their home their home bases, uh, this and arena. Um, not not far from here, uh, over where ANZ Stadium used to be at, and they uh, they share this facility with the with the uh, netball netball Queensland built. Uh, I guess they commissioned to build build this beautiful facility, at uh, at um, right off of Kessel Road, Kessels Road, and um, in yep, no Kessel, really. part of McGregor, I think, or, or Mount Prevet. Yeah, this I know anyway, the, I know the area. Yes, yep. Yeah, so the Bullets have a series of. Uh, Camps, academy, uh, ba basketball academies for young kids, and they brought brought myself brought me on board to help out with those camps. You know, so it's like me and some of the younger Bullets players. Uh, you know, there's like a 30 year gap between us, and we're, we're all working together That's helping nice. these little kids. You know, to, 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 to hone their skills. My son Zane comes along every Thursday. We we uh, we go out and do that do the clinics. And then during the holidays, I'll be doing mm. something involved with a lot of holiday uh, holiday basketball camps with the with the Bullets as well mm. too. 
So, all, all, so of all your all your children, uh, who, who is Zane? Is there any others that sort of have, have sort of gone down the basketball path of trying to become a perfect, you know, be very good at basketball? Yeah, my, two, and, my two oldest kids, uh, Gemma and Archie. Mm. Uh, Gemma is my, my my very firstborn. She's just had my my I have my first grandchild, mm. twelve twelve months old now, uh, Indigo. Well, she was a great basketball player, women's basketball player. She could have uh, went on to play, you know, with the highest level she wanted to play, whatever level she wanted to go to, you know. But she kind of there's a bit a bit of an issue with uh, w- women, young girls that, that drop off from sports after a certain certain age age uh, period. So she was, yeah, she was a really good player. She actually was, I think she's the only one, everyone in our family to actually score a, a four point play to win a game at the buzzer. She had a three, she had a three from the corner of this one game rare. and uh, got fouled and knocked the free throw down and won the game for it. <laughs> she was a great rebounder as well too. And then my son, Ar- Archie, who's, uh, he's about the same height as me. He's about six, six seven, six, eight. He's he pretty tall. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, he was, he was, Really good basketball as well too. He was he was actually going to go down the same path. I wanted him to go down the same path that uh, Ben Simmons went down. I, I, after our retirement, myself and Ben Simmons' dad, uh, Dave, mm, you know, yeah. became pretty pretty good mates. And he was telling me about the he's on Melbourne the Melbourne process. Tigers fame, old Dave. Yeah, yeah. He was telling me all about. I remember him telling me about all the, the path he was taking Ben down. You know, taking him up to America and playing the playing the AAU programs and all that type of stuff. And I wanted, I wanted my, my, my son, Archie, to go down that, that path as well. But for whatever reason, he ended up going down the path of AFL. He's now representing Brisbane with the, with the, uh, you know, the Lions. That's right, yeah. Lions yeah. Doing really well there too. So it's worked out good for him as well too there, you know? So Archie's so Archie six foot eight roughly, and he's getting yeah, some... Yeah, uh, seven, six, eight. I'm, I'm and, have, uh, pretty tall. That's pretty tall for him. Hair. It depends on how our hair is being... Yeah, <laughs> it gives us a couple inches sometimes. Our hairstyle, you know? which I'm yeah, grateful that, to still have hair at 56. Yeah, you know? <laughs> I mean he could he could be um, I guess he could be a, a, a basically a good target at, at the full forward position. Really, you know he could. Just oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's they've done a great job of developing him you know, at, at that uh, in, the, in the Alliance program. AFL obviously you knows top top organization here. Mm. Yeah, is he but, got a, is he got a good is he got a pretty good kick on him or is it? I think he's still that's still a work in progress. I think he's gotten better. He's he's been with the program about five or six years now. He's uh he's 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 he's, he's such a, a pure athlete, not just because of me, but you know, all my kids, <laughs> I said all the kids, their mothers yeah. had a big part in their, you know, their athleticism, you know, their their mindset. You know, his mother is actually really a really uh she has that mongrel, more of a mongrel uh, attitude. When she plays sports, you know, all, all, all the mothers, the three mothers of my, my kids, all are very active, you know, um, in sports and whatnot. Two of them, two of them are um, personal trainers as well, too. Oh, that's so they play, they play a big part, you know, in our, in our, in our kids. I got another son, 19 year old uh, Jalen, who, who he loves, yep. he loves, he plays, he's pretty good basketball as well. All my daughters, the daughter Camille, I spoke about earlier, she, I remember we used to be part of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, the athletic, what's, the, what's it, the kids' athletic organization they have over here? What do they call it? Uh, used, used, to, used to call it Little Athletics back yeah, in the day. Little Athletics, yeah. I remember, I remember all the time. Every time we would, we would sign her up, for, some, for whatever reason, because she was in dance as well back then as well, she would always join up, join up fairly later than the other kids. And she would jump in, you know, to one of these little, these little uh, races and just dust all the other little kids, you know, all the girls in her division, whatever. And she's, you know, she's she's coming late, you know, and all the parents are looking at us like, oh, it just she's just coming in now, and it's still, you know, she's that talented, you know, just natural, you know, natural talent. We're very blessed, to, you know, be my, my kids are very, I'm very blessed to have very natural, uh, naturally talented kids, you know, not just physically but mentally as well too. Yeah, that's good, man. Good all stuff. very, very you know, intelligent, you know, young, young, young people, you know. Yeah, man. So the rest of the year, what does the rest of the year look like for you, Andre? I don't know, man. It's, uh, I'm, I'm very optimistic about this uh, this COVID thing, you know, starting to, starting to you know, sort of get better. It's, it's a year. And I, I, I'm putting things in place for when it does, when things do come. You know, I've been, I've been networking with a lot of people. Okay. With, a lot of, with a lot of different events and different things are going to be happening once it's uh, got to, once we return to normality. Mm. You know, so 
been doing a lot of behind, behind the scenes planning for when that time happens. Yeah. So what sort of what other sort of networking things are you looking at? Well, back to my schools programs, my big yep. feet program, you know, the schools. Yep. I'll, I'll go back to that. Uh, some, some behind the scenes camps and clinics, uh, seminars that I'll be doing with uh, with corporate people. I'm looking at looking to become a uh, registered training operator RTO. So I, have okay. a, I have an employment background too. You know, I have a background where I've worked with organizations that, particularly Serena Russell, who's who's a, who's a, who's a job oh, in the employment industry here. I've mm. worked with her organization over the years. So I'm looking to uh, become a uh, independent contact contracted training operator. Okay. But the timing may work out well because uh, once once COVID is brought under control, mm. there'll obviously be a lot of people trying to get back into the workforce. So hopefully yeah. I can be people that are helping to train them how to get that job, working on their presentation, their uh, yeah. communicative skills, uh, all those type of things, you know, interview skills, things like that. So that, I have a background in that, you know, I've always tried to yeah. reinvent myself over the years, you know, not just be, be in this one box. Mm, no, you're, you're certainly a multi-talented person, that's for sure. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, just yeah, just it's just all about um, evolving, you know, and changing. And and, uh, and and obviously the world keeps changing as well. So you've got to right. obviously keep keep up to date with with exactly. uh, with what's and trying to predict where the world's going to be. Not always easy. So it's no, it's, it's it's it's, a, it's become it's become very difficult to. Um, to be able to predict where things are going and what uh, each state right. is gonna, going to do and what they're going to allow and what they're not going to allow. Exactly. Well, uh, what about you guys? What are you, what are you, what's, what's on the horizon for you? Your, your lovely wife there, yeah? You yeah, so, made, yeah, made, so made, I, I guess made, we've... <laughs> so with New Zealand, um, I guess what, what, what I'm going to be doing is obviously working, still working as an accountant tax agent, but doing it remotely. Right. Uh, so technology will, will allow that to happen. Uh, right. Once the once the borders open up again, which they may not do for a little while, yeah. uh, I will be back in Brisbane um, again anyway. But uh, oh, you will be back. You will be back. Yeah. Okay. But because um, we've got a we've got a place over here now, so right. in in Queenstown in in New Zealand, so um, that's that's Queens, uh, Queensland to Queenstown, huh? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Have you been Queensland to Queen? To have you been to Have you been to Queenstown before in New Zealand or? No, no, just, I've only been to, uh, what's the major city of there? Auckland, uh, Auckland. Oh, yeah, Auckland. Yeah, I had a 10-hour 10 10 hour layover one time on the way back from America. And I, I just hung out in downtown Auckland. It was pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, Auckland's not so bad. But uh, so, yeah, the South Island is, uh, there's obviously two islands here in New Zealand. So the South Island, um, you know, it's got, I guess the landscape's like, a bit like Tasmania a little bit. Uh, it's but but it's, but it's got... It's, Got a lot of mountains, so there's a lot of mountains, uh, a lot of very picturesque, right? Very picturesque. Yeah, yeah. A lot of lakes and stuff. So uh, when we get out of quarantine in nine days' time, uh, I've got a car organised um, to pick up a car from here in Christchurch. Okay. And, and uh, drive down to it'd be about a six-hour drive down to, to Queenstown. Okay. Uh, okay. So right. and that, church is where they had the, it was a it was a major um, catastrophe there. Years ago. What, yeah, Christchurch, Christchurch have had a few types of catastrophes over the years. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. They're, they're very well known for their, their earthquakes here yeah. in Christchurch. Uh, and also, uh, it was only, was it 12 months ago, or maybe a bit longer, uh, yeah. where they, they had the, the massacre at the mosque. So, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was tragic. Some yeah. Australian, Australian white guy. You know? Right, right. Yeah, no. so uh, the. the yeah, no, mental, it had to be something mentally going yeah. on there. The prime minister, yeah, the prime minister of New Zealand wants to send him back to Australia, you know, so right, right. to do jail time there, does it? You know, female prime minister, right? I mean, the, yeah, Jacinta Ardern, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, she's done a great job there. Yeah, she's a uh, yeah, well, yeah, she's state. she's very she's done a great job. She's reasonably popular here in 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 world around the world and also in in New yeah. Zealand. For they've had a fairly tough stance with COVID. Um, they've been able to keep the. They had quite a lot, about a hundred days without any community transmission in New Zealand. So, oh, great, great, yeah. there was, but obviously, there's something that seeped back into the system, and they're getting uh, over the last three, three or four weeks. There's, don't know where it came from. we don't know exactly where it's come from, but yeah, there's been, a, there's probably been, hey, <laughs> there's probably about a hundred, um, been a hundred cases in the in the last month. So, okay, uh, 
so there's still some cases, but you know, New Zealand as a whole is, is about the, the population's about the um, is about the same as all of Queensland. So, oh, Queensland, I thought, yeah, yeah, about four, three to four million people, maybe five, about five, yeah, five, so five, five all up, yeah, yeah. So, we've got five in Queensland, five in New Zealand, so you're looking at a similar sort of population numbers. Let me uh, ask you this question, you too. What do you think yeah. about um, what's your thoughts on a female, female running? A country as opposed to a male. What what are the advantages and disadvantages? Your your <laughs> <laughs> we'll put you on the line. <laughs> uh, well, I, I guess let's have a look. At, I guess let's have a look at history. How I mean, America, how would America go with uh, female female in in, in, um, in power? In, in, how would America go? Do you reckon? Is that what yeah, you're well, asking? This, 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 we're talking first. The first question was this: female a female being in power as opposed to a male. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it still depends on who the individual is. And, and uh, obviously, there's going to be a little bit of, I mean, it's quite obvious being a female leader that um, there's just going to be more, again, up, you, you're up against it more uh, when it comes to the perception. The perception of a leader generally has obviously always been male historically. Um, right. so, so getting used to these new you know, these, a bit of a new world order. Uh, it, it's definitely hard, but you, you can go back 30, 40 years. You had Margaret Thatcher uh, running the UK. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. You've had Helen Clark here in New Zealand. Um, Julia Gillard, I know her run wasn't very long, maybe two right. years. Philippines, but, you had Milda Markles. Uh, yeah, she's, she's had a good run in Germany. So there's oh, a lot of Markles in Philippines. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah, so there's All lots right. of different... Um, I thought you said a uh, Markle, sorry. No, uh, I mean, they mailed the Mar Marcos, I think it was. Yeah. Okay, Marcos, yeah. But, uh, you know, I think, uh, I mean, you've got to just treat them, uh, uh, you know, on on the space of their own merits. I think why Jacinta Ardern has been popular, I mean, she's 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 run the country at a good time in the country's history. Um, it's, it, it is economically, until, the, until COVID came along, it was, it was flourishing in New Zealand. Right, and that's got a lot to do. So if you're if you're a woman in charge of something flourishing, then with a smiley face um, and saying the right things and communicating well, then you're going to get you're going to be popular, and you and you're showing some compassion. You you're not like a stone face. You know, if you're a stone face sort of person, that can certainly get people off from time to time. And and we've seen that with our leaders in Australia over the course of time. That that um, you know they've got to have some sort of uh, understanding com compassion of every day is what Australians go through. Yeah, I can, I can, I can agree with that. Yeah, I think women bring a lot more um, stability, and um, their their thought pattern would be a lot more, you know, as a, as a woman, um, a lot more um, even even keel. I would say, yeah. Yeah, it's it's hard to know. It's it's hard to comp it's really hard to compare, and it's, I don't like to sort of compare it too much. But yeah. I, I think it, I think it's one of those things that you look at each leader on their own merit. You you said that Scomo was doing a good job before, and yes, and, uh, right. and, and a, lot, a lot of people agree with how that's how he's sort of been going over the last well nine months. Let's say um, people had issue with him at the bushfire time, but um, that seems to be in the past yeah. now. Uh, and all, you, merit, all merits, yeah, you're right. All merits. Um, so you, you don't, and people, so I, I guess what you've got to understand, I guess the general public's memories aren't as long term as you think. So people are more, are, more, are more in the moment, more in what's happening in the last few months, you know. That's right. Like Janet Jackson said, um, you know, very famously in one of her songs, Janet Jackson, um, what have you done for me lately? <laughs> <laughs> That kind of sums up what you said. <laughs> sums it all up. What have yeah. you done for me lately? <laughs> yeah. Man, it's been so good to talk to you again, man. It's been a while and have, yeah, have see you and see you sort of face to face. I mean, with COVID, it's just been it's been a crazy time. We've had had a lot. Everyone's had a lot on their plate. So really, and and, yeah. and, and you've picked, uh, I guess, Father's Day to to have a bit of a chat. So um, I, yeah, I appreciate you uh, reaching out to me as well too. Yeah. No. Te te technology. We have to, we have to mm. give a shout out to tech to people like uh, mm. uh, Steve Jobs and those people that made mm. it possible for us to 
mm. even talk face to face like this, you know? Yeah. And uh, just to let you know, I know the, the Apex Club, we still haven't given up on the idea of the trivia night, so it still could happen oh, yeah, well, sometime yeah. in the future, yeah. maybe March oh. next year, but we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll just have to see. They just want to get, I guess, get back to a bit of a normal world. And uh, yeah. and it's, it's hard to know until things, we see what's, what's you know, until we get to sort of Christmas, it's hard to know where of things course, are going to... I understand, yeah. And the so, portable, portable basketball system you guys had, you're moving. Did anyone pick that up? Yeah, so I think I think Fiona did find somebody. That's good. Uh, but it's they, good, so, hands. good hands, man. Yeah. So there was actually yeah, a, 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 I think um, yeah, a little family sort of came around and um, yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah. So I do it. Obviously, doesn't always work out, but um, well, we, yeah. have, we have one already here in, the, in our back in the backyard anyway. So it would have been. I'm just glad it's, it's someone you know. We found some somebody who could who could be happy with it, you know. I think it was actually somebody in your in your suburb too. They said they were from. Really, Forest <laughs> Lake. Okay. I think yeah. so. I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure it was. I'm pretty sure. Oh, cool. Uh, so <laughs> you, you might see it around <laughs> the neighbourhood somewhere. Who knows? But uh, yeah. what's what, what's um, the general suburb? Uh, how's it all sort of everything sort of been going on where you've been living? Is everything sort of in harmony there? Yeah. Well, well, just recently we, we became one of the hot spots, you know, for, for COVID, you know, so we had okay. to be very, very careful because apparently the um, the um, correctional centers, which are not too far from here, okay, break out there at uh, the Waco, all the correctional centers at Waco, which is about, about 15, 20 minutes away from here. And a lot of the people that work in that center actually live in this vicinity. So yeah, that, that was a bit of a scare, but it's, it's, I think it's, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of coming good now. So we, yeah, mm. we, like I said, we, 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 we're very careful about how often we go out and about this kind of home bodies kind of just, we, our home has become sort of a, a, our own little bubble, you know, mm. in a way, you know, we just kind of live within that, mm. that com- those confines, you know. Mm. And I might just finish off on NBA, some NBA stuff again. Um, did you, yeah. you probably would have heard Brandon Ingram got the most improved player? Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're giving out the Brent. Yeah, he's officially been named the most improved, which is which is very. Um, 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 There's a couple of guys. I thought Bam, Bam, and Fred Van Vliet were two guys that yeah. I thought. Yeah, they, 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 they would have made good candidates as well too. Uh, but um, yeah, Ingram had a, yeah, had a great breakout year after being traded from the Lakers. Mm. Well, congratulations to him. We've had uh, the sixth man of the year, um, um, Montrez. Montrez Harrell, yeah. He's, you know, it was quite emotional for him because he just he's lost a beast. His grandmother's, you know, recently. Yeah. Um, he's a beast, rest- man. But he's, yeah. he's had a heck of a year. Yeah. yeah. I think there was any other award? I think a couple other. Jay Morant. Other awards have been given out, have they? Jay Morant. Rookie oh, Jay Morant, of course. Yeah, Ja. Ja Morant, we call him. Yeah. Ja, ja, sorry. <laughs> yeah, ja Morant is the uh, rookie of the year. Yeah. He got, out of the 100 votes, he got 99 out of the 100 votes. The one other vote went mm-hmm. to, uh, obviously, um, Zion, who's going to have a heck of a year. Now, it's, it's actually, I think la- when you look at last year's rookie class, very solid, very solid rookie class. Um, yeah, yeah, Kendrick Nunn, aforementioned uh, Kend- Kendrick Nunn, was also in, that, in the running as well. He was the third, yeah. the third leading vote getter, yeah. Still, yes, I still think there's some good rookies there. So I look, you know, Atlanta got a couple. There's there's a couple of good players uh, coming yeah, through. Yeah, little, little, little shooter, the little shooter for Atlanta Hawks. Um, what's the little dude name? <laughs> uh, oh, there's there's Trey Young, but he, that's his second Trae year. Young, I mean, Trae Young. Yeah. 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 So the NBA is basically in really good hands. Uh, Donkic, like LeBron. <laughs> how good is this? How, how good is Donkic? Fuck it. Jamal Murray, Donovan Mitchell is a, is, a, is a heck of a talent. It's just you know, just heaps and heaps of young guys is going to keep this keep this thing rolling, you know. And guys coming in this year, I think the, the, the draft is coming up. Um, yeah, who's going to be who's going to be the number one pick? Is it going to be this Edwards guy or? I'm not sure who's. I know I know uh, the ball kid who played over here, Lamelo, will be in right top four, yeah. top four five, you know. And I hope he has a good career. I mean, Lonzo, Lonzo's. Come, coming pretty good. I'm hoping to land. Uh, I've got a chance of landing. I'll probably land uh, on my fantasy team. I'm hoping to draft Lamelo. We'll see what happens. Oh, okay. okay. Good luck but, with uh, that. I've got a top four pick. They still haven't bloody. They still haven't done the lottery. I've been asking them to do the lottery. So. Yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> Get the lottery happen. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, oh man. man. Oh, Aussie, Aussie terms. I love it. Like, pull your finger out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> they, did you listen to that, Matty? Pull your finger out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. man. The other day, some of the, the Australian colloquialisms that are so funny. You know, some really funny ones, yeah. Anyway, yeah. man. Yeah. Man, anyway, I might leave it to it, but it's been great to catch up, man. Yeah. It's been really good. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to do it again in the next month or so. It's been really good. Uh, maybe... Maybe as we get to the NBA finals or something, we'll, we'll yeah, um, yeah, catch up. But you, uh, uh, sort of... Kawhi Leonard would be very proud of you when that new, that new Balance uh, should jump for that too. You know, he's, <laughs> he's the face behind New Balance now. Oh, is he? There you go. I didn't, I didn't, didn't even know that. I should have known yeah. that. But, I, <laughs> but I got this. I got. The, I got this given to me once. I used to. I was part of the. I was. I was a member at the gym for a number of years. Anyway, they had these lying around somewhere, and they just gave it to me. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just trying to rep- represent our program here. You know? Big feet, yeah, of course. Of course. Mate, have a good one. We'll get back yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah. Probably be the fourth quarter now with Toronto Boston, so I might watch the end of the game. See how All that's right. going. I mean, I'll, I'll catch it later. I like I like to record the game so I can I'm, I'm, yep. in, I'm in control of the whole situation. I can fast forward through commercials and. Yeah. Free throws and all that, you know, in, in these in these you know these uh, stoppages and games because referees have to. You know, to make it to determine a situation. You know, you know. Yeah. So, what, so, what do you what, what do you think of that extensive reviews that they do? It's quite sometimes it goes for ages. It's important, you know. It's important. I, I understand. Get, it's you know, important to get it right, though, isn't it? Yeah, you got to get it right. You know, referees, people don't forget they're human. You know, and they, you know, they miss they miss calls and all that. You know, but they, I think these these refs in the bubble have been doing a great great job. You know. Seriously. Cool, man. No worries, man. Good to yeah. see you, Andre. Happy Father's Thank Day. You. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Father's Day to your, your any all the fathers in you, you and Fiona's um, family. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. Family. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Thank okay. You. See you.